Hey farm hands, Farm Boy Reaper, welcome back to the lab. So I got some really great specimens for you guys. So um, what I have here, I got six emerald crabs. So these ones here are gonna go into these tanks. So why are they so beneficial to have in your tank? Well, they're a great scavenger, guys. They'll scavenge any leftover foods that are in the tank. Um, they're very good at uh, taking up bubble algae. If you guys ever have a bubble algae problem, what they're gonna do is they're gonna feed on that. They love to eat that stuff. Sometimes you get corals, they'll have a bubble algae on them or on the rock place uh, one or two of them in there they'll definitely take care of that they'll never have a problem so we're gonna learn a little bit of information about these guys we're gonna get two per tank um, I have these ones all acclimated for you guys if you see my previous videos on how I do it uh, I usually use uh, the drip process leave them about an hour dripping in each tank you want to make sure all your salinity is the same and uh, your temperature so you don't shock them they're, so these are definitely beneficial to have guys so we're gonna place these in the tank we're gonna learn a little information about them all right, so there you guys go. You guys see there's the first uh, green uh, MO crab. I got a, a larger one and then a real small one. So there's always one bigger, one smaller. And we move over to the next one. See, one big, one smaller, and same in this one. So I got two per tank. They're gonna do their job. I wanna make sure uh, they have lots of food to eat. And then we're gonna get them placed into the tank, guys. So let's go ahead, let's get each tank its own emerald crab. All right guys, so I got my green net. I'm gonna grab uh, one at a time and we're gonna place the first two here in a Tatawan. You guys can see he's already gonna scurry off and hide already. You guys check him out, he's heading down into the Marcos Rock Cave. So let's get the second one going on guys. Sorry he took off so fast. So let's try another one. So the next one's coming down. As you guys can see, look at that. He's taking off, he's scurrying already. Trying to hide under the rock there a bit. So what he'll do his job, he'll sit there and he'll pick away at different algae and stuff that's gonna come on. So let's move on to the next tank and drop another two. All right, so with the Asgard tank now, so let's grab another emerald crab. So we're just gonna place them in the tank. So he's going down right now. There he goes. Oh, right upside down. You guys can check him out. He's gonna flip himself here in a minute. There you go, see, he just popped himself right over. Look at him go. It's nice looking crap. So a little information about these ones. Um, well, they can be called the, uh, the green emerald crab or the emerald uh, matrix crab. Um, they have a shiny green, flat, compact body with hairy legs. Um, it definitely likes a lot of different uh, rock work to hide as well. Um, the emerald crab will eat algae and various types of meaty items and scavenges, definitely in your tank. Um, a couple other things, it loves to eat uh, the bubble algae. And if there's not enough algae in the tank, well, they'll definitely go for different supplementary foods. All right, gang? So just make sure you have lots of algae in there and different foods, different meaty foods as well. I'm gonna just eat, I feed Rod's foods in these tanks. So that's what he'll end up eating, plus any different kinds of algae that we end up feeding him as well, guys. Um, he'll be about two and a half inches by the time he's done. You want to try to keep, you know, always keep your salinity of a 1.025. It likes the water conditions about 72 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit and a pH of 8.1 to an 8.4, all right? And they're easy to take care of and they're semi-aggressive. So definitely a great to have in your tank, guys, and he'll do all your maintenance. So let's go ahead, let's get his uh, partner in there. So we get his partner in crime. 
He's just a little fella. There he goes. You guys can see him there. These are guys, they're great to watch when you have them in their tank. They got such great personality. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, get the other two into uh, Krypton. All right, gigs. Hopefully, you learned some uh, great information about uh, the Emerald Crab and why they're so beneficial to have in your tank. Hopefully, you guys will check one out and uh, learn a little information about them. And if you ever have a bubble algae problem, get yourself one. So, you know, after the video, if you guys would like to leave any comments below, I'll definitely get back to you guys. If you guys want to have any information you'd like to know about these Emerald Crabs, just hit me up anytime. So, if you guys could please subscribe and hit the like button.